passport family we know very well that in america men do not get the respect that they deserve and unfortunately this goes double when it comes down to talking about the average man you know the truck drivers the plumbers electricians firemen police officers men understand that your hard work is what helped shape america to become what it is today and your hard work is also what helped provide so many opportunities to with civilians but unfortunately you have women like b simone and ebony k williams that will tell you that the work that you do as an average man on your day-to-day -day job is not good enough for them because it doesn't come with a private jet and you see passport family talk like this is what adds fuel to the ever-growing fire of entitlement that women already have today and you see now you have some unknown woman that has some list of jobs that high value men should not work there's a list of jobs that men should not do especially grown ass men okay for one mcdonald's burger king wendy's Matter of fact, any fast food restaurant, if you think that you're a grown ass man working in a fast food restaurant is okay, something is wrong with you, all right? Leave those jobs to the teenagers. My nephew can't even get a job right now because there's some grown ass man in his goddamn 40s flipping my goddamn burger, okay? Let it go, leave it alone. That job is not for you. Anything in retail, okay? I don't wanna see no grown ass man handing me a dress, okay? Why are you a grown ass man working at Ross? That makes absolutely no sense, okay? Target, Marshalls, like guys, give it up. Leave these jobs to the kids. Leave these jobs to the teenagers. These are jobs you get in high school, in college. But once you're a grown ass man, you do not need to be working in any fast food restaurant or any retail restaurant. And for you high value men that think that it's high value to work for the city, <laughs> let me tell you something. You're absolutely wrong, all right? No police officers, no no firefighters, no construction workers, no mailmen, no post office. Um, if you consider that a high value man, you're absolutely wrong, okay? There's nothing high value about making 70,000 a year. See, I wanted to stop it right here because this is so important that you understand this. $70,000 is still not enough for the modern woman. Passport family, I keep explaining. That is not about what you can provide. It's not about if you have your own home, if you have your own car, if you can put food on the table. That doesn't matter. If you can provide for this family, that's not important. What is important is if you can provide a luxury lifestyle. That is what is important to the modern woman. You men that think working for the city is high value, it's actually not, okay? It's pathetic, it's sad, all right? I don't want my husband coming home smelling like trash. Absolutely not, okay? You guys need to go get some real careers, okay? Become an entrepreneur or something, all right? Own a Lamborghini or something. Like, you guys thinking that this, you driving around here in a fucking Toyota and thinking that you're a high value man because you work for the fucking post office. You're absolutely wrong. Stop it, all right? You're low value, all right? And if you want a high value woman like me, you need to switch your career path. Passport family, I hope that you noticed that every honest job under the sun was on her list. Passport family, not once was scammer on this list, not a robber, not a, a, a drug dealer. Hell, anything negative was not on this list. But people, men that work for the city, men that have honest jobs like working in warehouses, truck drivers, those men, men making all the way up to $70,000 a year was still not good enough for this woman. Passport family, I hope you guys are starting to understand that it is far more worth your time to learn a new language, get your passport, and experience a new culture.